Ava DuVernay was born August 24, 1972. She is known for being the first African-American woman to receive a Golden Globe nomination for Best Director, to have a film nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars, and to win Best Director at the Sudan's Film Festival in 2012, and was also nominated for the Academy Award for Best Documentary. She directed many iconic films like Selma, When They See Us, Regular Time, Queen Sugar, and Dirty. Dun Bernay went to school at the University of California in Los Angeles for journalism. She directed her first feature film at the age of 39. DuVernay didn't even touch a camera till she was 32. Ava DuVernay is among the new generation of black filmmakers who may very well be a part of the black film renaissance in the making. In 2017, Jordan Peele made his directorial debut with the suspenseful horror film Get Out. The movie grossed over $250 million, won Peele the Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay and nominations for Best Picture and Best Director. The movie itself was nominated for a BAFTA and Directors Guild of America Award. The film was a huge success and Peele was accredited for the brutish and explicitly honest portrayal of racism in America today. He followed the critically acclaimed hit with production credits on Spike Lee's Black Klansman and directing another racially influenced movie in Us, which won numerous awards for directing and writing as well. Following the immeasurable influence and success of these movies, some film and TV classes are taught using the work of Peele, citing how he excellently displays racial tension and horror within a society so easily coerced and bothered by socially insensitive topics. He has been cited five years in a row on Time Magazine's 100 Most Influential People and plans on creating more impactful films. California born and Atlanta raised, Donald Glover aka Childish Gambino is an American actor, comedian, writer, producer, and musician. Aside from the critically acclaimed masterpieces in his discography, Glover has also left his marks in the television and film industries. Starting as a writer and executive story editor for NBC's 30 Rock, Glover later found a passion in writing and directing. He also had a great passion for acting and starred in five seasons of NBC's Community as Troy Barnes. But where his true passion was put into was excessively shown in short films and in his hit show Atlanta. He is the star, writer, and director of the show that premiered on FX in 2016 and has also been recently renewed for a third season. The show sparked up success in Glover's career and got the attention of many other important figures in the television and film industries. Even after playing in 2018's Solo A Star Wars Story and voice acting Simba in the CGI remake of Lion King, Donald Glover will be remembered as one of the most prolific creators of his generation. Broderick Stephen Harvey, better known as Steve Harvey, was born in West Virginia and later moved to Cleveland, Ohio. He is best known for being a comedian, especially being one of the kings of comedy. He was one of four comedians, including Bernie Mac, Cedric the Entertainer, D.L. Hughley, and himself. Also hosting a TV show called The Steve Harvey Show, and hosting the game show Family Feud. But the best thing he is known for is having his own radio show called the Steve Harvey Morning Show, which entertains people all over the world every morning with laughs such as reading the Strawberry Letter. Here it is. Buckle up. Hold on tight. We got it for you. Strawberry Letter. Okay, another. Spike Lee, also known as Shelton Jackson, is a film director, producer, writer, and actor. He was born on March 20th, 1957 in Atlanta, but calls his home Brooklyn, New York. He is known for his production company, 40 Acres and Emule Filmworks, which has produced more than 35 films since 1983. Spike Lee made his directorial debut with She's Gotta Have It in 1986. Since then, he has written and directed such films as Do the Right Thing, Jungle Fever, Malcolm X, He Got Game, The Original Kings of Comedy, 25th Hour, Inside Man, Chirac, and Black Klansman. Lee also took starring roles in 10 of his films. Lee's films have explored political issues such as race, religions, colorism in the black community, the role of media in tempor contemporary life, urban crime, and poverty. Lee has won numerous awards for his work, including an Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay, 
a Student Academy Award, a BAFTA Award for Best Adapted Screenplay, two Emmy Awards, two Peabody Awards, and the Keynes Grand Prix. He has also received an Academy Honorary Award, an Honorary BAFTA Award, an Honorary Caesar, and the Dorothy and Lillian Gish Prize. Lee will go down as one of the most iconic film directors of our time. 